Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach and Happy New Year. Today we're doing another Ikomi VV video. It has been a... Uh, well, I haven't been posting as much lately, so I want to get back onto it this with this year, obviously. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to be seeing some other stuff that I want to talk about later in this video. That being said, the price right now is literally 6'2". Not much range on a low of 6097 on a high of 6427 over the past 24 hours. Also, before we get into it, how did you celebrate your New Year's? Did you do anything nice? What about Christmas? Um, I know I wasn't posting a lot during that week, so yeah, I just thought I'd do a little quick catch up with you there. Um, but anyway, let's go into some of the VV news today, and then I'm going to go over um, a little bit of what I'm hoping to see, I guess. Uh, so let's start off with let's start off with the most important thing, actually, which is wishing the OG, our very own Al Khan, a speedy recovery and happy and healthy New Year to the entire VV fam. Of course, Jeremy uh, tweeting out yesterday, my good friend Al Khan wants me to wish you a happy New Year. He has COVID and will be okay. He's dressed in full boxing gear. We are knocking out COVID. Love, Julian and Al. Al wishes all to you. All of you to sorry to stay happy and healthy show him the love ecomi uh vv so we of course see uh wow this this is a nice little setup we got going on here uh but of course best wishes to al for uh for this and of course uh best wishes to Jillian as well and we're looking at the text messages right here knocking out covid happy new year love al uh, love Jillian and al al can i share this on my twitter sure awesome do you want to say anything specific say happy and healthy wholesome as heck so many people love you, Al. How do you know? Watch this. Watch what happens when I share this. And when he shares this, 1,150 likes, uh, many retweets, many quote tweets. I don't know if Al is aware. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Maybe he, I don't know if he's aware of how many people truly look up to him and like, um, you know, wish the best for him, are excited for him, about, you know, excited about him, etc., etc. Uh, maybe he's just really humble. I'm not sure. Either way. And of course, best wishes to Al and Gillian, especially throughout uh, his COVID recovery. Having said that, we're going to go over this newest Marvel comic book again. The debut of Bullseye, Marvel's most maniacal marks, Man Devil 131, features VV exclusive covers by Stephen Mooney and Israel Silva, drops in blind box format tomorrow. Okay, the next Marvel digital comic drops on Tuesday 4, January 2022. Uh, the next offering in VV's digital comic lineup continues with another iconic comic from Marvel, Daredevil 131, fully readable with five cover rarities in blind box format. We have the common. So let's have a quick look at this. Of course, we can see here the Marvel comic, the class of cover common. Then we have the vintage variant uncommon. Then we have the hero variant, which is a rare. We have the vibranium variant, which is the ultra rare. Then we have the true believer variant, which is the secret rare. Daredevil 131, first appearance of Bullseye, Daredevil's deadliest ma uh, nemesis. In the debut of Marvel's most maniacal marksman, Daredevil learns his public, learns his adversaries quite the showman, and Dee has been lured into a very public battle. Okay, so of course we know this is pretty much the, the standard uh, stuff at the end. Now I'll be honest with you. Um, first of all, have we gone over everything? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, cool. So. We haven't really seen, uh, I mean, it's literally only three days into the new year, so it's not like a, an issue. Um, but going through sort of VV's, going through VV's timeline, obviously we have VV sort of uh, celebrating, you know, uh, the users who are doing cool stuff with their, with their collectibles. This stuff is really, really awesome to see. <laughs> um, but what I'm really hoping to see at some point soon, obviously, and we haven't really gone over like the Ron English stuff, for example. Um, but that's, I believe that's already, that's already going to be uh, released, I'm sure. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing, um, I, I'll be honest, like, and this isn't me, I hope I don't get too much flack for this, but I shouldn't do, because I think what I'm going to say now, I, I'm hoping that it sounds balanced enough and not as a dig to VV. Um, I haven't been as excited. Well, so no, some of these collectibles that we've been seeing, like the Groot one, for example, Spider-Man and stuff, they're really cool. I love seeing that stuff. I really do. And, um, you know, I'm sure we'll see more and more and more of it from VV. 
Um, but more recently, like especially with these comics, obviously we've been waiting for Marvel for a long time now. Well, relatively long time. Um, and now that it's here, it's awesome. And VV have clearly taken advantage of it as much as possible, which is very smart of them, of course. Uh, but I am excited again, or excited to and hopeful to see VV push boundaries in uh in the demos that i'm in a way more interested in now again that's nothing to do with the business i'm not saying vb's not doing something wet right they're doing a lot of this right they're doing they have one of the most impressive and solid products some of you would disagree i know but including myself with certain things i, I still can't log in but they do have one of the most solid products um of any nft project which without a doubt right um, and so I'm very, very happy about that. And I'm excited for what ha happens this new year, you know, going into 2022. And, you know, I'm excited to see the VV uh, metaverse, the VVverse start to sort of see iterations in the next quarter. Um, so that's all, all very, very exciting. But I am excited to start looking at stuff. I think part of the reason why I haven't been posting as much, which isn't necessarily, it's not VV's fault. Um, I, you know, I have a lot of channels running and some of my channels are right now just going crazy, completely wild, like averaging hundreds of thousands of views per video. It's nuts. It's great. Um, and so I've been, you know, enjoying that. And I've also been working on other, you know, NFT channels, other um, gaming channels and other stuff like that. So it's not just all about VV necessarily as far as why I haven't been posting as much. But I know that I would have been posting more if the if we were seeing more stuff that I was interested in. The reason why I got into VV was because of the stuff that, A, business, realistically, like I saw the IPs, I saw the licensing and thought, holy crap, I cannot miss out on this. Um, but you know, I'm also excited to see certain IPs that, um, you know, for, like new film IPs, right? For example, like we've seen a lot of Marvel IPs and that's amazing. Don't stop doing Marvel. You know, it's not that's not a bad idea whatsoever. That's great. That's a very smart and amazing move uh, by every, a stretch of the imagination um but i am hoping you know for example i'm excited to see gaming entities at some point when it comes to seeing certain ips you know um whether it's fortnite whether it's halo whether it's call of duty any sort of um sort of you know known ip within the gaming space we haven't seen any really um and i and i i hope we see at some point at some point soon um it's not just that i'm hoping to see more film ips we've already seen some really awesome ips being uh, and like parents working with so like obviously we've seen dreamworks we've just seen disney's Go golden moments that was huge those sorts of things i love covering i love covering stuff like disney golden moments um even talking about the the uh steamboat willy that was awesome as well um and i'm not saying that vv needs to start pandering to what i want at all vv is doing an incredibly smart job of doing what they're doing um but i do think as far as like for example these marvel comics like it's amazing for for comic people and it's amazing for people who are trying to flip stuff and all that great stuff um but i, I i'm hoping to soon within the next basically month or so see us seeing something very different very new obviously we also saw um automobile ip partnerships as well that is really cool i loved covering that um but yeah like that's why i don't cover every single marvel comic i just i don't have the energy for it right now now that might change that probably will change because i really want to run this channel up um even more this year and so i'll probably be making videos that i'll be honest that's what you gotta do with the job sometimes you make videos about stuff that you're not that interested in i'll be the first to say it if no one else wants to say it i make videos for a flipping living so i gotta do what i gotta do um so like for example these marvel comic drops i don't really care I mean, I care from a business perspective. I think I, I want to see VV do anything that makes sense from a business perspective. But personally, if you're asking me about whether or not I'm going to be reading or care about any of these comics, I really don't. That's not my personal interest. Again, I'm not saying that my personal interest is the only one that matters, but I'm saying from a just making videos point of view, uh, it's a lot easier to make videos when you're excited about the videos you're making specifically for the topic that it is, uh, which is why I do gaming, right? I know a shit ton about gaming. I know more than most people do in gaming uh, when it comes to what's coming up, you know, new releases, because I, I I have inside information about a lot of stuff going on with different things. And that stuff really excites me, which is why, um, you know, I, I post a lot in it because I also have a lot of leverage there. But yeah, hopefully we'll see some more sort of exciting things with Vivi. I'm looking forward to Metaverse stuff. I'm looking forward to more IPs and some more sort of varied IPs from just the comic books that we see uh, so often now. I'm not saying again, I want to make it very clear, I'm not saying Vivi should stop doing what they're doing for me. That's not what I'm saying at all. 
<laughs> I'm very proud of the team for pulling off what they have. That being said, hopefully I've over explained that well enough. I prefer over explaining myself on the internet versus not explaining myself well enough because then it's harder to, to miscommunicate. That being said, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Very excited for 2022. We're going to be covering a lot more happening on the channel very, very soon. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next VV video.